Hello all and welcome to the latest Craft Mania Sunday Showcase. I'm Jamie and I'm going to be your host today as I take you through, through a few special offers and different bits and bobs along the way. Now today I have two major special offers for you. If you do attend our lessons you may have already seen the first one because we've been giving you a little bit of a sneak preview this week which is certainly a little added bonus to those of you that do attend the lessons. Our second offer that we'll come to in a moment is brand new and I promise none of you will have seen that one and it's one I don't think you're going to want to miss. Not to forget on today's video at the end of it we're also going to be picking our lucky winner from last year, um, last week's competition, nearly said years but no just last week's when we did our free raffle ticket for every mould that you bought in our clay week. If you haven't seen last week's showcase, it was a really, really popular one. A lot of it has now sold out, but a few bits are remaining in stock and you may wish to go and watch it. But of course, we are going to pick our winner today and one of you lot who bought a mould this week is going to win £50 worth of Craft Mania vouchers, which is a nice little reward, isn't it? So, okay, on to today's offers. The first offer I've got to share with you is our die cut sheets. Now, I have over 180 different designs of these. I'm not going to flick for them all, don't worry. I'm not going to keep you here waiting for that long. But there literally is loads of them. And we have everything from flowers to Easter to Christmas, Valentine's Day. There's also topper ones as well. There really is just loads and loads to choose from. There's two major price points. For all of the ones that are a decoupage sheet, like this one, for instance, these ones are 89p, and our topper sheets, like this one, are £1.25. The topper sheets also tend to be foiled as well, so you'll get a lot more detail on them, and um, usually a nice silver or gold edge around them. I'm going to show you lots of samples shortly, but the offer this week is for every one of these sheets you buy, it doesn't matter if it's a topper sheet or a decoupage sheet, you're going to receive a free packet of foam pads. Now your foam pads normally retail for 89p, so it basically means you're going to buy the, the sheet and get for 89p and get a product worth 89p completely free. So it doesn't get better than that, does it? The foam pads themselves are 2mm, you get 400 squares on a sheet, and as I say, they do retail for 89p. Their actually recommended retail is 99p a sheet. So you're saving even more than, than you should, or, or even more than the cost of your sheets. So it really is a good promotion to get hold of. As I say, there is over 180 designs. I'm not going to flick for all of them and keep you here forever. Uh, what we have done is we've loaded them onto our website. So I'll pop the link to that in the comments and or the description. And you can pop on there and have a look at them. Now, if you wish to order them, this week we're going to do something a little bit different. We're launching a click and collect service, which basically means when you're on our website, you can pick any of these that you wish to from all of the different sheets on the screen. You can go through and click them and order them as such. It's up to you then whether you wish to collect them in our Yarmouth store. If you do, just pop in the comments Yarmouth. Or it's set up that we'll automatically have them coming to our Lowestoft store. So if you do wish to collect from Lowestoft, you can just leave it as it is. If you wish to, you can pay online, you can either pay using your card, or if you wish to, you can pay via PayPal as well, or there is an offline payment option. So if you do wish to just collect in store as you would normally and pay at the till point, however you wish to, cash or card, you're more than welcome to. But if you are feeling PayPal rich this week and purse poor, then it's a good way to get your products and pay for your PayPal account. And of course, by doing click and collect, you don't have to pay postage either. If you do wish to order them online, then of course you can, and we will of course send them to you. Uh, postage for that, any orders below £35, receive a £2.75 flat rate on postage. If it is over £35 for the UK, this is, it's completely free. If you are watching us from abroad and you'd like us to send them to you, that's no problem at all. Just have a little look at the Frequently Asked Questions page and it explains how our international shipping programme works. We literally send stuff all over the world all of the time now. So wherever you are, if you would like our products, it's not a problem at all. Just have a little read of that and you can follow the, the description of how to do it. So let's have a little look through our sheets and then we'll go on to the second offer and pull our raffle. So I'm not going to hold you up too much with these. These are cards basically that I've either done on previous showcases, so you may well have already seen them. Or if you do come to our lessons, you've possibly done them in lessons before. But they're all quite easy to do, uh, quite self-explanatory, so we'll just have a quick walk through them. 
The first one here is showing you one of our topper sheets. Now, as I say, everything on these is die cut, so that literally means it's cut out. You can just pop it out and use it. So that's your first sheet, for instance, is your purple romance. You can see that we've just decorated a box with this, and we've also done a matching card. So one of the good bits of the topper sheets is you really can sort of use the different elements to spread them out between different items. I also wanted to show you, like, like with this design, not only do you get a topper sheet, you also have a matching layering sheet as well. If you haven't used our layering sheets before, these are really easy to use. They're all numbered and you simply just follow the numbers. You can use your free foam pads to build up the layers. Or of course, if you are somebody who prefers using silicone or other products like that, then you're more than welcome to as well. And you could save your foam pads for your matting and layering. Considering they're free, you can't go wrong, can you? Uh, this is one of the cards we've done with that sheet, just to show you the height and how they build up. So there's a lot you can do with these. Certainly a lot of um, different projects and bits you can use them on. In our 180 designs that we're talking about that you can view online, you'll see lots of different ones. So this is one of our men's ones. Of course, football is unisex, and a lot of people might like that one too. The good bit with this is the colours of the uniforms work quite well. I'm calling them uniforms, I'm sure they have a better name than that. What do they normally call football outfits? Kits? We'll go with that. Football kits. So, of course, you've got the red and the white showing here how I know absolutely nothing about football, so I do apologise profusely. My football knowledge you can write on the back of a postage stamp. Uh, something I'm a bit more au okay with is nice flowers and birds. So we'll go on to this one quickly. On this sheet, we've actually glittered it as well. So if you wish to, you can, of course, add more decoration to these. You don't have to leave them as they are. So this one, we've just used a quickie glue pen and a little bit of iridescent glitter just to give them a bit more of a sparkle. Uh, moving forwards, we'll look at this one. I love this one. I really like how ornate all the work is on here and this gold sort of detailing that they've done on our sort of cup and saucer. This one's actually been used on this one. I'm pretty sure we launched that on a showcase not that long ago, so you may well have seen this one. Behind it, we have one of our Victorian girls ones. So in this one, we actually get, and this is worth looking at, because a lot, so a lot of them, you just get one image and, and that builds up to make your, your one thing as, as such. With this one, we're actually giving you three different items. So you can get your three different cards made out of this one sheet if you wish to. Or of course, you could continue the theme and add one to a box and one to a gift tag things like that if you wanted to, but it makes it a little bit more cost effective. And of course, with your free foam pads, even more cost effective. One of the ones we did a couple of weeks ago for our dome week was our really lovely red sort of Valentine's-y couple. This one's called Sweet Romance. And of course, it's just showing you really that you don't have to use these for cards if you don't want to. There's a lot more you could do with them. So we've added them to one of our acrylic domes. These are now back in stock, by the way. If uh, you've been waiting for them to return, they sold out on the showcase week incredibly quickly. But we now have the large, which is what this is. And we also do a slightly smaller one. But they are both back in stock, available in both stores or on the website if you wish to order them. The bride and grooms, just to give you a quick overview of these ones, we do a couple of different bride and groom ones. We've got a pink sort of floral set and then a cream floral set. I can show you both of them actually built up. This is our cream one that we did on our metallic gilding wax week. Now that's a good one to talk about. We've actually introduced a new offer for that this week as well, where you can buy any nine colors of the metallic gilding polish for just 45 pound. So if that's something you've been waiting to get hold of when it goes back on offer, as I say, it's a nice little saving. There's 16 different colours currently in stock to choose from, and all you've got to do is somehow whittle it down to nine. If you haven't seen the metallic gilding polish before, then we have a very popular video that you can watch on it. Uh, we've actually had over 3,500 viewers to our Sunday showcase when we launched it, but we also have a smaller introduction to metallic gilding polish, and I'll post the link of that in the, in the comments so you can have a little look at that if you haven't seen it. Uh, talking about our next bride and groom one, that's on the back one here. This is our pink floral set. And we've also teamed it up with another one as well. So we've gone for a more champagne-y floral set on this side. And this actually opens in both sides. When we did this in class, we actually made a matching box to go with it. And I'll show you how you could take certain layers and spread them out across different projects or different areas of your card to save you buying multiple sheets if you didn't want to. So it sort of makes it a little bit more cost effective. But a nice way to use two sheets if you wish to, if you are a fan of the layering sheets. Of course, in our 180 odd designs, there are many different subjects. And we can't forget that Easter isn't that far away. 
So this is one of our Easter designs ready built up. And I love how many layers and the depth and the hidden little bits of detail that are in this one. So that's quite a nice one to get hold of if you are somebody who sends Easter cards. Moving to the front here, we have more of the metallic gilding polish. Again, you will have seen this when we launched the metallic gilding polish. But this one's actually got two of our cats on it. So this is the cat sheet. Again, this is one of the sheets where you get three different designs on here. And we've got the cat in the flower pot on the front and then the cat in the present at the back there. Uh, on the next card, just to show you, you can spread them out. You don't have to use all of the projects on one. We have the cat looking up at the poppies. So again, that's making them, what, 30p an image, which is quite a, a cheap little price tag. And of course, you get any free foam pads, which sort of halves the price, really, doesn't it, if we look at it like that. Again, if you are somebody who is going to do craft fairs throughout the season or throughout the summer, this might be a really good time to stock up on your sheets because it's a, a really good offer, isn't it? Moving on, Father's Day again, another one that isn't that far away. So this time we have a really nice plain one for you to have a little look at. Again, with this one, not only do you get the proper picture and the full layer in part, we also have a little topper set down the bottom here if you wish to use them as well. Uh, again, that one's only 89p as with all of the die cut sheets. Moving on to our next one. Again, this time we've added some glitter to this. So you can see on here that we've got some nice gold glitter on the top of our roses and the details around our cup and that just to tie in the gold mirror board that's been used behind it but can't you just see how the glitter really lifts that sheet up and gives it a, a more classy finish to it and again with this sheet it's another one of those that gives you a couple of extra bits and it's even got little text and sentiment pieces dotted around on here as well as a lot of the others it um, helps matching saves you trying to find a sentiment to match color wise Another one we have here is a topper sheet. So this is one of our Christmas topper sheets. On here you get six die cut elements for 125. Of course, you're still gonna get your free foam pads. And we did this as a class not that long ago, just before Christmas. And we show you how you could use one sheet to make a card. We then have a matching Christmas hanger. So a little hanger for your tree, which has got the elements in both sides of it. And then we also made a two story box. So as you can see, we've got one of the elements on the top. And then the box actually comes apart to keep one of your pieces in it, whether it be your card or your Christmas tree decoration. And then you can pop the other one in the base underneath it so that you can actually give that all as one gift. Now, obviously, we did this for Christmas with one of our topper sheets, but there are loads of different sheets with the six designs on. And you could certainly work out on something like that and do different pieces. Or, of course, you could use the two split box and put jewellery or chocolates or something in one of the levels if you wanted to. And uh, just another idea you could do quite a bit with. Moving forward, we have our embossing folders. These are the ones that cut out as well at the same time. Now, you may well have seen on our Facebook page this week, somebody actually wrote in to us, our lovely Lynn Lewis, actually, in fact, and pointed out how Hachanda are selling the same embossing folders we are. Uh, we have six in a set for £25. The same set through Hachanda was actually on offer at £40. So it's always wise to point these things out. Our Sunday showcase offers can sometimes be incredibly cheap and certainly better than you may be able to find elsewhere. Not all the time, but we certainly try our best. So, um, but that is one of the designs from it that we did when we launched the uh, showcase for the embossing folders. We are currently sold out of them, but the offer of, on the embossing folders has actually been extended to the 31st of January. So if you haven't got them yet, you might wanna pre-order them for the next delivery. We're hoping that isn't gonna to be too far away at all. Uh, obviously in the middle of that, we have our lovely little bird image on the really nice little flowers. Again, that's one of our sheets. This one, I really like this as well. It gives you a nice border panel as well. So if you are gonna make a box to go with it or if you wanna decorate your envelope, you've got little bits to pop on that as well. And then of course, I know I've, got, I've thrown in a couple of Christmas ones along the way, but we can't pretend that Christmas isn't going to be here before we know it. It's never that far away, is it? Especially if we're going to make cards. And again, if you are going to sell them, really good time to stock up. We've got loads of Christmas designs on the website for you to look at. This is one of our poinsettia baskets. Again, it comes with its own little um, sentiment panel as well. And we've also got quite nice little hearts and pieces if you want to add into the display with them as well. So just to recap, there are just a few, just a really tiny few of the different designs. As I say, there are, I think it's actually 187 different designs available. And for every one of them you buy, you will get a free sheet of foam pads. So quite clearly, if you buy 10, you'll get 10 sheets. If you buy 20, you'll get 20 sheets, so on and so forth. But it's a really good way to stock up on your foam pads because we all buy these, don't we? And it's a good way to 
get them free of charge. And uh, especially if you are going to buy the sheets and the toppers throughout the year for your Christmases and your Easter's and all that lot, why not get them now while you can and get your free foam pads? So that's our first offer. As I say, some of you may have already seen that and it's been incredibly popular in our lessons when we've sort of teased them and give them a little sneaky peek of that one. A lot of people have been buying in sort of the 20s and 30s of them. So again, as a, as a warning, be careful because a lot of the designs are limited stocks. So we don't want you to miss out on your favourites. So do get ordering as soon as you see this if you wish to cash in on that offer. Secondly, as our, our brand new offer for this week, if you like, we have some really lovely punches that are going to be half price. So if you are new to punches or you haven't seen them before, we've got some really lovely punches to show you. We Actually, the design of them to begin with is as a corner punch. So there's six available. We have three blue ones and three black ones I'll talk you through. And I've made cards with these so I can show you how they look. But I'm just going to punch one of these just so you can see the idea. All we do is take the card, pop it into the actual holder, and the, with the wings on here, line it up so you can't go wrong, and you just click it, and it will cut out your card for you to make that shape. You can then work around as much or as little as you want to, and add decoration to it. And of course, you could just leave it like that if you want to, or you can continue on and do all four corners. I really like these because if it's sort of... It gives you like when you do that it looks like it's been a die cut panel which is what we're more used to working with but this gives you the freedom to make that whatever size you want it to be uh you can even go down really really small like i have on some of my cards so i'm going to show you the cards what i've done with these is i've used every punch design to make the same card so all you're really picking between is the actual punch so this time we've got the blue rose is what we're going to be calling it because there's another rose coming up in the black ones. This is your blue rose. Now you can see here I've done four tiles and I've punched all four corners. I've also done just the corners of the large panel at the back here as well. So that's your actual punch on the card. We also have a daisy in the blue one for you. Now the daisy is a bit of a larger flower and I quite like the way it actually shapes the edge of this here. You get that really nice detail. Then we have, moving forward, we have our tiny flower. This is our blue tiny flower. And it adds these three little flower heads in, which are perfect if you want to add a pearl or a diamante in the middle of them. It really just um, gives it a little extra something, doesn't it? So we've added little silver crystals in the middle of ours. But it, it just certainly gives it a bit of a sparkle. So there are your three blue. So you had your blue rose, your blue daisy, and your blue tiny flower. And then over this side, we're onto the black punches. Exactly the same, work exactly the same way, just two different styles. Uh, so this time, the black one, we have the black rose, which again is a bit of a larger rose head. If you're now wondering, oh, do I like rose one or rose two? There's a close up of both of them. So we have blue rose over here and black rose here. So they're very different rows, aren't they? Uh, so that's your black rose. Then we have our black shell, which is really good because it's a really nice everyday one. We've used this on men's cards as well throughout the, um, the couple of years that we've had these in stock and uh, done that in quite a few of our lessons as well. And the good bit with these is like this part here, if you don't like it, you can either cut it off or you can just fold it under. Uh, you don't have to have them bits left in the middle. So if you want more of a sort of a straight line with the scallopy shell coming out the side of them, you can do. You don't have to have them. Or a lot of the times, especially on the bigger panels like this, I tend to add gems or pearls down those in lines and it sort of fills them out as well. So just different ways you can dress them up. And then lastly, we have our black daisy. So this one's quite a big design again, quite a bold design and um, really lovely one to work with as well. Gives you a bit of a different idea. Now, all of these punches, all six of them, there's a lot you can do with them. Although I'm showing you them as a corner punch, we can also use them as a border punch. Now, this is a bit more of a technique, really, than a, a necessary design idea. But I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to use my favourite. I love this one. This is our tiny flowers on the blue one. And all I'm doing is I'm taking out the guard. So I've removed the guard that turns it into a corner punch. I'm going to take a black piece of card in the hope that you're going to be able to see this better on camera. And I'm going to put the piece of card inside the punch. Now you can see in here we've got this nice silver triangle to help us line it up. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to stop the card just before it gets to the end. I don't know how well you're going to see that. But there's just a little bit of difference there between where the card is and where the punch is. 
I'm going to punch that and remove it. And you can see here we've cut off the edge. Now I'm going to put the punch back in. And this time we're going to keep it so that we have a little bit of a hole from, you can possibly see a big hole now. We're going to take that down to a little hole just where the last punched piece ends. And we're going to punch again. And that will just continue our design on. And you can, I'll do this quickly so you can see the idea done. But it basically just means that you can then use it as a border punch. We also have a video on our um, YouTube channel showing you how you can use this and punch around a circle. So if you want to make doilies, that's no problem either. That's quite a nice little technique to do and it gives you a different idea. And you can punch around circles, ovals, whatever you wish to. If you continue off to the edge, you will then find that that bit comes apart and you have just a really nice delicate edge. So again, it's giving you a different use and a bit of a money saving tip on how you can take one punch and turn it into two different things. Now, all six of the punches I've shown you, all three of the blue, all three of the black, these ones are normally 6 49 each, but this week and this week only, they're only £3.24. So that's literally half price and it's just an incredible price really for a punch like this. They're really good quality, they're really solidly made. There's so much you're going to be able to do with these. And if you do want to tie your corners in with your borders, you could. Or do doilies in the middle, you really can. Take this and work with it to whatever extreme you wish to. Across the bottom here, I've done all of them as a border, just so you can see them. So we have the blue rose as a border. Oh, put the punch around the wrong way. Let's change that back. Uh, the blue daisy as a border, which I quite like how that sort of floats up and down. And then you've got the nice curved bit under the flower. Again, it's just screaming out to put the little gems in the middle, isn't it? Then we have the tiny flowers on the blue. So blue tiny flowers. And then as we come over to this side, you've got the black rose, the black shell, and the black daisy. Now, how you're going to pick between all six of them, I've got no idea. Because I think they're all quite lovely. And I think you might just want all of them. I know I do. And I, I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I might well end up keeping all these. Sorry. <laughs> uh, then another on for you, we also have an envelope punch. Now, again, the envelope punch is half price. These are normally £6.99, but this week they're only £3.49. So literally half price again. The envelope punch, very similar. We're just going to take some paper, pop it in the punch and punch it. And when it comes out, it's actually made you a little mini envelope. Now, I don't know how well you're going to pick up on this, but it even scores the fold lines in it for you. So you can simply just fold against it. And then if you wish to, you can glue it together. I tend to just add a little bit of glue gun on each side there. And then you can decide if you want the points going in or the rounds. And then it's turned it into a nice, cute little envelope for you. Now, there are so many different things you could do with these. I keep thinking that, I, you know, especially advent calendars for, for adults or, or older children, you could possibly pop little tokens in there instead of chocolates, things like that, if you wanted to. On my little card I've made for this today, I've actually just added mum into it. But, of course, this could say dad or Christmas or Xmas or... Whatever you wanted, the name of the person it's going to. And then I have actually made them into little cards. So if you wanted to, you can even decorate the card itself and write your little messages on the inside of it if you wish. Or like my top ones, I've actually foam, pa foam padded the cards into place so they stay in the envelopes. But the envelopes are just so cute. I think they're great fun. And so much you could do with them. So many different designs. That's something if you're a Pinterest user, search mini envelopes on Pinterest. And I bet you can come up with a hundred different ways in which you'd like to use them. Because that's just going to be a really fun thing to do. Uh, then we have another punch for you. Again, half price. This is our mega punch. Now, these are normally $7.99. This week, they're only going to be $3.99. Now the Mega Punch is really good for making sentiment panels and bits. So again, just pop your card in, push it down, and it will cut out all these little fun bits for you. So you can see that you've got a little bar, a little like name badge piece, and then a couple of little decorative pieces. Now you may have picked up on the card I showed you a moment ago, I've actually used one of these to put my birthday wishes stamp onto. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could, of course, use them for sentiments. Again, you could just use like little bits like this and put your individual letters on it to make up names. There's so many bits you could do with these. These, if you want to hang something on a card, you could just fold out the bit in the middle, glue down the edges, and you've got the perfect part to hang something onto. There's quite a lot you could actually do with the elements that this punches out. And you may be thinking, oh, I've got a die for that. I could just use a die. But how quick did I punch all of them? You haven't got to wait for the die to go through the machine and cut out and then come out and be popped out. 
it's so quick to use a punch and so easy and just effective. I really like these. And at 3 99 for such a large punch, that's an incredible price. So I'm sure a lot of you will be adding them to your shopping baskets this week. So that are your two different offers for the week going forwards. These end at 5 p.m. Saturday, the 20th of January. So you've got all your different half price punches and of course your 180 odd designs in your cutting sheets and you will receive your free foam pads. So let's pull your draw now, see which one of you is gonna be lucky enough to win your 50 pounds worth of vouchers. Now I've popped in all our little tokens, all our little raffle tickets into here. But because I want it to be as fair as possible, I'm actually going to let our cameraman, Peter, pick our ticket for us. So close your eyes, Pete, and delve in. Let's see who's going to be the lucky winner. Oh, we've got one, of we? Just the one. Lovely. So it's a blue one. And we have number, if I can actually open it, 445, which is Debbie Frost. Now, I actually know Debbie. She's going to be delighted by this. So congratulations, Debbie. You've now got £50 worth of Craft Mania vouchers waiting for you in store to collect. Debbie um, comes to my Friday lessons in Yarmouth, and she's really lovely, and she's going to really, really appreciate that. So um, congratulations, Debbie. I hope you put it towards something nice. One last thing before I let you all go. Uh, I just wanted to show you these as well. These are our kits that we do here at Craft Mania where if you haven't seen them before, everything you need to make these items comes in a packet. You then have instructions wrote out telling you how to construct every little piece of them. We've actually been asked for the Christmas ones so much since Christmas has passed that we've re-bought them out, we've relaunched them, they're back in stock, uh, they're literally hitting the shelves Monday morning and we've got our exploding box one which all folds up and uh, obviously has its little lid on and when you open it you've got our centre of our Christmas tree and our little presents. We have a photo lantern at the back here to which you can either put photos or Christmas pictures into it or when you make it you could actually leave out the middles and put little tea lights or a scene in there if you wanted. Not real tea lights, it is made of guard. Don't want to be responsible for any houses burning down. At the back we also have a little Christmas staircase card with matching box and then we have a fireplace card with matching box as well. If you haven't seen these before, they are, again, all available on the website. There's actually a little bit at the top of the website where you can click on there and um, order them. They're the new kits bit. Uh, or, of course, they're available in store, especially if you are somebody who's regretting not being ready for the Christmas that's just gone. They might help inspire you with a few ideas and get you kicked into action for next Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed today's Sunday Showcase. I know it's all a bit of a, an odd mix of bits today, isn't it? So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us yet on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Uh, this week we've actually gained over 30 subscribers, which is just amazing. I think we're now on 380 something, which is just great. So thank you very much. Uh, a lot of the projects from today, not all of them, because some of them are already there, but as many as I can, I will be adding to our Pinterest page. So if you do want to pop on Pinterest and save the images, you can come back to them at a later date. Uh, one final warning, as I said earlier, the punches and the sheets are very limited stocks. And when they're gone, they're gone. So please don't miss out this week and get them held while you can. They're both very good offers and I don't want you to miss out. And lastly, once again, congratulations to Debbie. Uh, really, really chuffed that she's won. And if you didn't win this time, obviously, I know a lot of you didn't. I'm pretty sure we'll be bringing that same style of promotion back at some time. So uh, you'll have another chance in the not too distant future, I'm sure. Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you all next week for our next Sunday showcase. Bye for now.